الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت في الله كي من حديث إن مسند إمام أحمد حديث the Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى عليه وسلم which is also another indication for us as mu'mineen to, to adhere to having righteous manners and good conduct with the people and watching and being cautious with our tongues. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, La yastaqeem iman, la yastaqeem iman abd, hatta yastaqeem qalbahu, wa la yastaqeem qalbahu hatta yastaqeem lisanahu. The Prophet alayhi afdal salatu wa salam said, as reported in Imam Ahmed, that a person's iman, their faith is not straight, it's not correct, it's not righteousness until their heart is on righteousness. And their heart will not be on righteousness until their tongue is upon righteousness or spreading righteousness. If we reflect upon that hadith, there are immense fawa'id, and immense benefits for us to benefit from. And it shows us the importance of making our actions in accordance with our statements and making our actions as an illustration for what is contained in our heart. And our actions will be an illustration for what's contained in our hearts with or without are wanting that to be the case it is the case and what we see in this hadith the prophet والسلام, said and this is mentioning the importance of istiqama of being on firmly adhering to the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if we firmly adhere to the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that means we're firmly adhering to what we're firmly adhering to the book of Allah. And we're firmly adhering to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam walau kari al-kafirun walau kari al bid'ah. Even if the disbelievers hate it, even if ahl bid'ah hate that, they hate some of the people to follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I'm telling you, this is true. If you look and analyze the writings, and I'm just going to deviate, uh, divert just for a minute, or digress just for a second. When we look at people like the Tekfiris, those extreme Tekfiris like Faisal uh, Jamaiki or Abdullah Al Faisal, and we see how much they spend discrediting the Muslim leaders, how much they spend discrediting Ahlul Sunnah, speaking ill of Ahlul Sunnah, diverting people from Ahlul Sunnah and keeping people in ignorance and so that people instead of waking up for fajr that they mention who's who's a taghut and who's not that this is how they busy the people they don't busy the people with the deen of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they don't de uh, busy the people with learning the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam they don't busy the people with practicing the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wala min hajj talib al ilm but not even the path of seeking knowledge you never hear of those takfiris really going on seeking knowledge you might have some of their figureheads who've went and sought knowledge, but you don't see them encouraging their youth. Their youth only talk about jihad out of the side of their mouth and never make a, a step to make jihad and nafs. Never making one step. They can't even leave the major sins, a lot of these guys. Where's the istiqama in that? So these people deviate and divert others. Sadda sabila mu'mineen. They close the path of the believers. They close the path of Ahl Sunnah. Getting back to the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, لا يستقيم إيمان عبد حتى يستقيم قلبه So a, 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 a slave's iman, his faith, is not straight until his heart is straight. And his heart will not be straight until his tongue is straight. So that shows us the importance of what? Of having good, man, uh, a good, uh, good statements of the tongue. Not being a person who curses, not being a person who swears, not being a person who speaks ill and backbites, not a, being a person who spreads ma'asi and sins outwardly and otherwise, but rather being on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam, and having good manners. This shows us, and there's so many ahadith and so many ayat fil kitabihil kareem, 
subhanahu wa ta'ala in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's book there are so many ayat and there are so many hadith of the Prophet وسلم, which talk about the importance of guarding the tongue and talk about the importance of the tongue and that illustrate for us that iman is a part of our it's, it's the belief in the heart and its actions of the limbs and its statements of the tongue that all of that is comprised of iman that's all a part of your faith so do not belittle your faith by speaking ill of others do not take away from your iman and destroy your good deeds by backbiting and spreading fitna around the earth and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahl Iman. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.